Hey everybody, this is Blake here. Um, I am going to be reviewing Cabin in the Woods before then. Unfortunately, I have my new Critiquing the Critics episode done, but for some reason, whenever I upload it to either Blip or YouTube, it gets all laggy and glitchy. I don't know why I sent, uh, email, or I sent emails to both YouTube and Blip to help me fix this problem. Blip responded, but they didn't really help at all, so hopefully I'll have it all resolved by uh, Wednesday or Thursday. Um, Cabin in the Woods. Anyway, uh, this was one that I was not really sure if I was looking forward to or not. Um, the thing is, I thought the trailer looked kind of lame. It seemed like it was being overly clever. It showed us too much of what was going on. And I, I just got the feeling that I've, I've seen this type of movie before. But when I heard the good reviews, I started to get really excited. And yeah, I thought it was a really good movie. But unfortunately, I can't really explain too much of why I liked it. Because part of the the surprise was just that I was surprised. I wasn't sure what to expect. And um, I love it when movies catch me off guard. Most, uh, especially horror films, they don't do that too often. Uh, so I, I hope I make a, a good enough case for why you should see it. For one, the characters are all pretty likable. Um, they aren't especially fleshed out or developed too much, but it seemed like the writers made it made a point to acknowledge the stereotypes, but then not be bound to them. Um, the jock, for example, is shown to be academically successful. Uh, the the geek of the group, um, he's shown to be pretty athletic. The slut isn't necessarily a slut. The virgin isn't necessarily a virgin, and. Um, the stoner. Well, the stoner is still the stoner, but he's the most entertaining of those characters. And um, this this just made them all very endearing. The actors do a good job portraying them. Uh, they got Thor to play one of the roles. This is, before, of course, before he actually became Thor. Uh, I wonder what he thinks of this movie. But um, everybody does a great job. There's a surprise cameo at the end that really threw me off. But in terms of... Uh, the movie's greatest st strengths. Um, I thought it was really funny, but I thought the best part about the humor was that it wasn't overly meta. It wasn't like Scream, it just was naturally funny. Most of the meta elements come from just the story. Whereas with Scream, you could have done that movie without all of that uh, meta humor. And it would have been pretty much the same kind of movie. With this one, the meta really is what... the meta portion is really what drives the plot and um, it's really creative in how it handles that once again I felt like you know I've seen this type of movie before and even the final twist I've seen before but the way it, it goes the way it moves from A to B is really what threw me off and um, I really like what they did with it it was really clever creative funny it's not scary but it is pretty intense and exciting um, I was often on the edge of my seat there's some good build up too, but once again this isn't this isn't gonna be a movie that's really gonna scare anybody. It's just a really fun, enjoyable, and all around clever horror film, and you don't really get that too often. I think one of the reasons I really like these types of movies is I, I could see the effort on screen. Um, with horror films, when it comes to their scripts, usually they're very by the numbers, below average. They're just they're just there so people can get naked and die brutally. But with this film, they really put a lot of effort into writing it, clearly. And um, it really shows on screen. And that's that's always a nice thing. So if you're a horror fan, definitely check this one out. I thought it was great. But uh, even if you're not a horror fan, I think you'll still will enjoy this movie. It's, it's just that fun. I had a blast with it. So if you want to read my written review, please check the link in my description. Follow me on Twitter. Go to my website. Uh, and that's all. Hopefully I'll have a Critiquing the Critics episode up soon, so wish me luck. See ya.